ask that young man on the porch if he knows where the log cabin is. Excuse me, do you know where the log cabin is? Hmm. I do remember that you have to go that way to get to the cabin. Okay, thank you so much. It's gotta be over here. Okay. I don't really know what to do. It says check the log cabin on the back of the map, but I don't know where to look. Well, what if somebody already found it? I hope not. Well, maybe it is a legend. Maybe the golden donut doesn't exist after all, Dad. No, it has to. We've already found one third of the map. Well, yeah, but don't people say that when you put all three parts of the map together, it leads you to the upper peninsula of Michigan? Yes. Well, I thought Michigan only had copper and not gold. Well, yeah, but the golden donut could have been moved from somewhere else. Besides, we already have one third of the map, and if the map exists, the golden donut probably will exist too. Yeah, this must be it. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Looks to me like our next location is Coon Creek, located in Benzie County, Michigan. That must be where we find the third part of the map. Son. You and I have been studying this for over two years now, and if it does exist, think about how cool it would be if we found it. Yeah, it would be. Howdy, man. How's your day going? Find something cool? Lawrence Smith. How did you know it was me, Matt? What other man in this world walks around with a blue wristband? Dad, do you know him? Yes, he does. Let's just say that your dad and I used to work together. He and I used to go on treasure hunts together until he decided not to share anything we found. Enough memories for us. Give me that map and I'll be on my way. No. Benjamin, why don't you go back into the woods? I'll meet you there in a minute. My son found this. He and I are doing it together now. If you want it, you're gonna have to take it. Dad. Thank you. Take good real care of your dad now, you hear? Dad? Dad? Dad! Sonny boy, are you okay? I got fired for the third time this week, Grandpa! Oh, great. What happened this time? Well, I was at the gas station, and there was a lady that pulled in and said she wanted her left back tire filled up. Did you fill up her tire with air? I started to fill it up, and it was already full and exploded. And a piece of the tire hit my boss in the face. Is that what got you fired? No, after that, another lady pulled in and said that she wanted me to wash her car. So I got the hose, and I started to spray her car, and she forgot to roll her windows up. Did you get water in her car? Yeah, I sprayed inside her car and it got in her contact lenses. And that's what got you fired? No, that didn't get me fired either. Okay. Then the guy pulled in and said that he wanted me to fill up his car with gas and I overfilled the tank. When the guy got out of his car, he slipped on the gasoline and a lighter fell out of his pocket and almost lit everything on fire. And that's what got me fired. Don't worry, Sonny. There's a job out there for you somewhere. By the way, once I'm done reading my chapter, I'm going to go over to Ben Bogey's house to get some newspaper so I can spray paint that new stool I got at that garage sale the other day. Alright, well have a good time with Ben. I'm going to take a nap. Alright. Hey Ben, I came for the newspapers. Oh yeah, they're in the back room. Okay, thanks.
September 23rd, 1972. Last night, a man and his son were in Cold Rock Village, searching for the first part of the map that leads to the Golden Donut, believed to be hidden in the Michigan Superior Uplands. After finding it, though, the two got an unexpected surprise. The dad, Matt Forrest, was assaulted by a man known as Lawrence Smith. Lawrence got away with the map, and Matt is currently in the hospital in a coma. His son, Benjamin, is fortunately unharmed. Hey Ben, what's this about? <laughs> I thought I threw this away years ago. That Benjamin is you, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I never knew that happened to you. It did. It was a long time ago. Listen Ben, why don't you come over to my house, we can talk and I'll get you something to drink. So my dad was in a coma for three months and then everything was fine after that. But what about your last name being Forrest and everything? Well, my dad decided to retire and I got a new job at the golf course in town. I was afraid Lawrence Smith would try and help me down, so I went to court and changed my last name from Forrest to Bogey. Benjamin Forrest, I would like to announce that your name has officially changed from Benjamin Forrest to Benjamin Bogey. Okay. This court is now out of order. What about Mr. Smith wearing the blue wristband? What does that mean? Dad told me it was a part of the company. You know how people have t-shirts and hats for merchandise in their companies? Well, the company that Mr. Smith worked for, they had blue wristbands. Interesting. I wonder if he ever found the golden donut. I doubt it. Why? Because when he hit my dad, he picked up the first part of the map and not the second. You need all parts of the map in order to find the golden donut. And I still have the second part. Well, have you ever thought about continuing the hunt? I'm too afraid to. Besides, it's something that my dad and I want to do together. What if I did it for you? You can if you want. Sure. Sunny Boy just got fired again, so he won't be busy for a while, and I bet Mr. Fritter would like to join in too. Great. Only Grandpa, I won't let you do this until you get a hold of the guys in the museum in town because they need to know what you're doing. Okay. Now, I've never met the guy, but I believe the owner's name goes by Dr. Larry. Okay. Find him, and maybe he can help you with the map. Okay, I'll find out where he lives and talk to him in person. Well, this is the right house. Hello? Um, excuse me, are you by any chance Dr. Larry? Less than checks, come on in. What can I help you with? Larry, is that you? Grandpa? Man, it's been years. It sure has. How have you been, Grandpa? Or should I call you? Nope, do not call me by my first name. I do not like it. <laughs> Fine. I haven't seen you at the library in a long time. Yeah, I haven't been to the library in a while. So you own the museum and the library? I sure do. Great. Well, the real reason I'm here is because I'm going on a treasure hunt looking for the golden donut. The golden donut? I thought that thing didn't exist. Well, I want to try. I have the second part of the map. Where the huckleberry did you get that? A friend of mine. Oh, what's his name? Ben Bogey. He works on the golf course. Ben Bogey. Huh, never heard of him. It's interesting, though, that you bring this up because a couple of years ago, a man stopped by the museum and dropped off the first part of the map. He said that he wasn't able to find the second part. Really? Yeah, so he gave it to us in case we could use it for anything. My janitor is here in the back room. I'll call him and tell him to bring it to us. Hey, Rudy. Yeah? Could you bring me the first part of the map that leads to the golden donut? All right, I'll add it to you. Thank you. Here, let me see that. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So now we just need to find the third part of the map. I'll call my grandson and my friend Mr. Fritter and tell them to get their stuff ready and we'll leave in the morning. I'm going with you. You are? Yeah, it might be dangerous. Besides, I know the woods of Michigan like the back of my hand. 
And it'd be pretty fun to have the Golden Donut for our museum. Great. We'll be glad to have you. We are seven hours away by car driving around Lake Michigan. Who's excited? I, I am. am. Oh, balderdash, the sun is in my eyes. Really? Because the daughter is in mine. Okay, you know what? Chicken butt. Why? Chicken thigh. Quit it! We're here. According to my GPS, Coon Creek is located about five miles into the woods. The hint on the map says to check a brick building. Well, sundown is in 30 minutes. I don't think we can walk five miles out there and back before it gets dark. Then we'll camp here tonight. Are you sure you know these woods, Dr. Larry? Because I don't really like sleeping under the stars. Of course, I wouldn't bring you guys in a dangerous place. Okay, just making sure. It's too bad I didn't bring my guitar. I could have played some campfire songs for us to sing. <laughs> I used to be a great singer until I had some bad luck. Some people heard me sing. I brought my harmonica. Let me play you guys a song I wrote last week. Thanks, Mr. Furter, but I think we're... Sometimes life feels too fast. But in hard times, it's too slow. You feel like grass that can't grow. Okay, I'm sure it's a good song, but I think we should probably get some rest because we have a long walk tomorrow. Okay. All right, I'll play it for you guys tomorrow night. All right. I'm getting tired. Are we there yet? Dude, we're not even halfway there yet. Are you sure we're going the right way? Yeah, look at my compass. Have you guys seen my compass? Is it about this big round? Yeah, it's brown. It's brown and it's about this big round? Yeah. Haven't seen it. <laughs> okay, you know what? That way is north because the sun is rising from the east. You see it? To be honest, it looks like the sun is rising a lot faster all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Holy mongoose, quicksand. Grandpa, hand Mr. Fritter your cane. Wow! <sighs> Mr. Fritter, I was supposed to pull you out. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Sonny boy, don't be lazy and get us out. I'm not lazy, I'm in energy savings mode. Grab that branch and pull me out. Grandpa, hand me your cane. Oh, thanks. No problem. Help me. Here, Mr. Fritter, grab on and don't pull me in. Man. You weigh a ton, man! Ha! Ah, glad that's over with. Ah. The next time that happens, don't pull other people in! I will pull you in if I want to! Somebody needs a spanking! Quit it! Jeez! Come on, let's go. Ah.
How much farther until we get to the brick building? I don't know. You see, Coon Creek runs through the forest and the brick building is somewhere on the edge, but the creek is over 10 miles long. Wow, and this is just for a third part of the map. Oh, snakes! I didn't know there were rattlesnakes in Michigan. There are. They're called the Massasauga Rattler. They're the only venomous snakes in Michigan, and it's very uncommon to see one, so enjoy this while you can. I don't want to. Let's go. We need to cross the ditch on this log. What? It's the only way to Coon Creek. Come on, guys. Come on, Sonny, we can't leave you. I, I, I don't think I can. Sonny, come on. No! Here, let me talk to him. Hey, listen, just walk across with your eyes closed and everything will be fine. I'll fall in with my eyes closed. All right, get on my shoulders. I don't believe this. Don't make any sudden moves. Don't cover my eyes, I can't see where I'm going. <gasps> We're almost there, don't move. Don't even breathe. I'm sorry. No, no, it's too late for that. Let's go, we got about a mile left. <sighs> Couple of junky cars out here. I was expecting something a little more than this. I mean, this place looks like my Lego creations. It can't be right. There has to be another brick building. This could have just been an old house that's fallen apart over the years. But what if this is right? Maybe we should at least search the place. Why don't we head downstream a little bit? If we don't find anything, we can come back. All right. Looks like a pioneer. The third part of the map. I wonder how he found it. We need to get it. Well, I'm not sticking around with the stranger. Wow! Halt! Hot dogs and sandwiches. Who are you? What are your names? I asked you a question. I'm Dr. Larry. This is Sonny Boy, that's Mr. Fritter, and this is Arthur, I mean Grandpa. Larry, I said don't call me by my first name, I don't like it. Knock it off. I know who you guys really are. I've seen you people out here before trying to kick us out of our forest, our home. Well, that's not gonna happen this time. Enough! Jim, we'll lock these three up and then tie Mr. Orange over there to the tree. Get over there. Now look at what you guys into, Mr. Fritter.
go all the way in. Since you asked so kindly, I'd be more than happy to. All right, you, come on over here. You think we could order some room service in here? Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Wyatt. I got some mail for you. Sweet. You having a good day so far? I would if it wasn't 40 degrees out. I know you have a reason to keep us locked up, but you can't do it forever, and I'm a human. Sometimes there's more important things to do. I have to go to the bathroom. Just find a corner in there and go. <laughs> but my friends are in here. Then tell them to look away. Just let him out and take him to the bathroom. The sooner he does it, the sooner we'll have peace and quiet again. Fine. All right. Why do we even bring him on these trips anymore? I don't know. You invited him. All right, go and make it quick. Go where? <laughs> you don't actually expect me to use that. Yeah, I do. Don't you have anything that flushes? You have 10 seconds to- All right, I'll wait. For what? A miracle. Hi, Jim. Wild Willie. <laughs> I thought I'd stop by on my way back from Mackinac Island and say hi. Cool, how was the trip? It was good. I can't stay here too long, I gotta get back home. Who's that? Some guy that was snooping around in the area. What will you do with him? Well, we don't plan on harming him or his friends. We just wanna protect our property. Wild Willie? Mr. Fritter? Do you know him? Yeah, he lives in Roosterville, Wisconsin, near me. Wild Willie, can you tell these two maniacs to install a proper plumbing system? Do you know a grandpa and a sunny boy as well? Yeah, they're all great friends of mine. Oh. Jake, let his friends out of the shelter. They know Wild Willie. Oh, sure. Guys, I am so sorry. This was just a big misunderstanding. And you must be Dr. Larry. Grandpa mentioned your name before you guys left. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Here, let me cut you loose. The four of us are on a treasure hunt right now looking for the golden donut. We saw that you had the third part of the map. Oh, this? Yeah, I found it a few years back upstream a little ways in a brick building. I never knew what it was for. Here, take it. And again, we are sorry. No problem. But we must get back to the car before sundown. Our next stop is Disturbing Woodland in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye guys, I'll see you sometime soon. I sure hope we're going the right way. It is, we have about a mile to go. I'm not sure we are. I don't remember seeing that green barn before. Whoa. Looks like it's abandoned. I wonder what that wire is for. It goes all the way out into the woods. Hey, look, they left a nice uh, mule here. What's that sound? Uh, it sounds like noise. <sighs> Let's take a look at the maps. The new part, Grandpa, can I see the other part? Yeah, here. Thanks. I'm gonna take a picture of the map just in case we lose it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, guys, I need to tell you something. Mr. Fritter, do I need to get a newsflash for every time you have a problem? A bear! Shh! There's only one thing to do. Yeah, you guys surrender while I hide.
Mr. Fritter, start the mule. There's no key. Maybe I could hotwire it, but I don't know how. Maybe there's materials in the glove compartment. Maybe this is the key. All right. Guys, just start it. He's... Oh, paparazzi. Go! Drive! Come on, Larry, let's go! Sonny boy, I'm sorry. I swear he was in the mule with me. Mr. Fritter, can you do anything right? I'm- No, don't even talk to me. I don't want to hear it. You never take anything seriously and you're always messing stuff up. Sonny boy, get in the car. We can find a phone once we get to our hotel. I don't want to go anywhere until I know where Grandpa is. I'll get on Google and see if there's a hotel near a disturbing woodland. Why don't we go all the way to the Upper Peninsula to make a phone call? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Sonny, why don't we FaceTime Deputy Wyatt on my computer and tell him? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Deputy Wyatt? Hello? Hi, listen carefully. <laughs> hey, what was that for? Guys? Get in the car. Why? Don't argue. Get in the car. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is the cheapest hotel I've ever been in. All the beds aren't comfy, the pool is freezing, they don't have room service, and it smells worse than my cousin from my dad's side of the family. You know, I am trying my hardest not to lose my temper with you guys. Don't respond to that. Why didn't you let us finish the call with Deputy Wyatt? Because we have the whole map. We don't need help from anybody else now. This is not about the map. This is about my grandpa. I don't think you understand. I have spent two-thirds of my life looking for this golden donut. I am not going to stop now when I am this close. Now, I'm heading out there in the morning, and you guys are coming with me. Whether you like it or not. He's gonna be fine. He's lucky you found him in time. Good. Thanks for letting us bring him here, by the way, Ben. It was the quickest place I could get to as soon as I got back in town. You're welcome. I'm just glad he's okay. 
And thank you for coming over, Deputy Wyatt. Yeah, no problem. I'm actually glad you called me over, though, because the other day I got this wanted poster in the mail. I wondered if you've seen this guy before. Uh, I don't understand. This is the same guy that's on the treasure hunt with Sonny Boy and Mr. Fritter right now. What? Are you sure? Yeah, his name is Dr. Larry. That's his nickname. His real name is Lawrence Smith. What? Let me see that. Ben, are you okay? This is the same guy that assaulted my dad 50 years ago and stole the first part of the map. Are you sure? Wild Willie, was she wearing a blue wristband? A blue wristband? I don't know, I didn't pay enough attention. Apparently he keeps switching jobs every few years to hide himself. Like two, two or three years ago, he was the owner of the Milwaukee Library and now he's the owner of the museum in town. That makes sense now. Mr. Fritter tried to FaceTime me earlier and I had him for a second, then he just disappeared. He's got him. Sonny Boy and Mr. Fritter are in danger. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. I'll round up all the deputies in town, we'll get a helicopter. Uh, let, let's write things down. Ben. They're there. Don't, don't let anything happen to Sonny Boy or Mr. Fritter. Ben? 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 Hey, that's my car! We need to move. Let's go. Where are we going, though? Ah, uh, my friends Jim and Jake. Uh, they own the third part of the map and gave it to Dr. Larry, but they might remember where, where uh, it leads to. They're in Michigan. Let's go see them. Well, let's go. Golden Donut has to be down in that cave. Now you guys go in front. So just in case there's any booby traps, you guys can be my shields. Lawrence! Who are you? Why'd you call me that? No one's called me that name in decades. I'm Ben Bogey. I used to be Ben Forrest. You assaulted my dad 50 years ago and stole the first part of the map. That's also the same slingshot you had that day. I know exactly. Who you are. You're Ben. A hundred thousand dollar reward? Whoa, you must be worth more than the golden donut. Can we turn you in and make some moolah? Let me get my phone out. Put your hands away from your body and don't move. Then how do you expect me to get my hands away from my body? I still have the story from the paper. You want to reintroduce two young men? Wait, you were in the paper? Can I get your autograph? Oh! Ah! Oh, hey! I have been wanting to do that this whole trip. You know, kind of glad you showed up, Ben. Now I have three body shields for the cave. Now get inside before I lose my temper again. Wait, there's a better way. Are you telling me how to run this? The golden donut is mine. I don't care about the golden donut. Listen, they're young. They don't deserve this. You have a history with my dad. It's only fair that you take me instead of them. Yeah, don't hold the grudge against us. Wait, please. It won't hurt you to leave them alone. I'll go with you. Time to the trees and let's go. Ben, what are you doing? We've already had enough people get hurt. Grandpa was left behind at Coon Creek with a bear. Grandpa is fine. He's at my place. He is? Yes, and you're right. Enough people have been hurt. Grandpa told me not to let anything happen to you. And I intend to keep my promise. Ben? I'll be fine.
I must say, I'm surprised you're still alive after all these years. So am I. How old are you? I'm 74. Really? Well, that doesn't mean I'm unhealthy. I never said that. You know, your dad and I found 21 treasures together. You don't need to tell me about my dad. You left him with a major concussion. He threw the first punch. You were stealing. Well, he wasn't sharing. You- I must say, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with you after this. But first, the golden donuts. And don't even think about running. I have a good aim. Keep moving. Whoa. I have waited 50 years for this moment. Holy cow patties, what is this? This is worth no more than a hundred bucks. That won't even cover the gas mileage it took to get here. This can't be the real one. It is. You're lying. Tell me where it is right now. Before I do something you'll regret. I'm not lying. Nobody lies to me. I will get the truth. What's that sound? <laughs> that was for my dad. And this is a cherry on top. Hey! You stupid lizard fish! Deputy Wyatt. Fireworks were a good choice to celebrate us coming home safely, Grandpa. Yeah. I thought Mr. Fritter was going to join us. Well, he said he doesn't enjoy watching fireworks because all he sees is $100 bills going boom, boom, boom. But I'm pretty sure he's afraid of them. <laughs> that sounds like Mr. Fritter. It's too bad Ben Bogey didn't get the golden donut. I honestly don't think he wanted it. Speaking of Ben, where is he? He was here just a minute ago. I got him, Dad. I got him for you.